or the shop is fairly new, so it's kind of we're developing the sound as we go along, kind of thing. Yeah. And it's you know we're trying to be as original and base it on our lawyers and where we've come from. I think it's Irish hip hop is taboo. Just the name, Irish rap is taboo. I mean, I'm a white ginger rapper, you know what I mean? Like, you, you, you laugh when you hear that sort of shit. The difference between like, us and Westlife is Westlife will get a song and they'll re sing it. We'll take a bit of the song and we'll just create a totally new tune. I'm just a poet like Kavanaugh, though I'm probably better off now than in the times of our mind. I'm hungrier than Bobby Sands. I want it to be the number one genre in Ireland. It's bubbling because of us. Now we have to break through and we'll, we, we'll do it. We'll do it. Next year, I want to have a number one. At least one number one. From the land of terror, economic collapse, political chaos, poverty and property tax. A lot of Irish people associate rap and hip hop with um, scumbags, with teenagers, with messers. I think Irish rap is just bypassing the radios, just going straight to the internet. I released my album there, The Concrete Jungle. I released that two months ago or something. I was trying to start rapping when he was 12, 13. We done our first gig together. When he got me where I am now with the music, you know, like it, it's horrible for, to see him rotting away there in prison, but it's happy to go home there, you know. That's him in Cloverhill Prison, doing a gig in front of all the prisoners and stuff like that. When I first started out, there was no one really rapping around. It was more kind of like, you're a rapper, like, you know, are you for real kind of a thing. I think a lot of Irish people too, like, they can be stubborn and they won't accept, like, an Irish rapper. Like, there's rappers from all over the world, like, in every country you can think of, like, so, you know, I, I think why couldn't Ireland have one as well, you know? You know you want to hear that sound. When I hear the name drop Rebel Faction, all you want to hear is keeping it right. Yeah. You can talk about the politics and all that stuff all day, like, you know, but I prefer to take the swing of the people that are being affected by the politics, you know. Talk rappers seem to be more connected with each other. They're more willing to help each other out. That's the difference between Dublin and Cork. We're not just two different counties, but two different types of hip-hop. We do the, we'll do the kind of, yeah, I'm raw, fucking selling heroin, and I've sold drugs, and I've seen guns and stuff like that, and all. We're there, you're going to like, a biggity bouncy here, a biggity bouncy bop, and a biggity bouncy. I'm a million, yeah. Step up on the mic with a crazy track. And I'm going to tell you how I'm feeling, and I'm going to start revealing every single little thing that's on my brain, in fact, yeah. Let me tell you all what is. Every day I'm paranoid, like a schizophrenic, but I keep on doing what I do to the day that I'm six feet deep, even though sometimes I feel pathetic, but turn it up the level. It turned it up a notch. I'm about to tell you how I'm feeling and I'm going to start feeling them. Whoa, wait, made a mistake. Come back through with the verse and say, yeah. when it comes true, man, man, it's okay. When I drop yeah. it, I care, we go, oh yeah. <laughs>